Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter when working with Visual Studio Code. Our viewer has compiled VS Code on a Mac and successfully launched the application, but there's a catch. The extensions simply aren't working. They see a message stating, no extensions found in the extensions pane. Curious about the underlying cause, they dug into the source code and discovered a reference to the marketplace URL. However, when they tried to verify it, they were met with a 404 error. So the big question is, how can they get extensions to work in their compiled version of VS Code? Let's explore this together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. If you've compiled Visual Studio Code on your Mac and noticed that extensions are not working, you're not alone. Let's explore how to resolve this issue. First, Let's understand the marketplace URL. You found a reference to the marketplace in the source code, which is crucial for fetching extension. When you tried to access this URL, you received a 404 error. This indicates that the URL might not be correct for your compiled version of VS Code. To get extensions working, you may need to change the URL to point to a local or alternative extension gallery. Check the documentation for any specific configurations. Finally, after updating the URL, restart your compiled VS Code and check the extensions pane again. You should see available extensions now. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with Visual Studio Code on Arch Linux, check out the Arch Wiki for solutions. There are multiple options available to help you resolve the problem. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using open source versions of VS Code like Code-OSS or VS Codium, they don't use the Microsoft Extensions Gallery by default. This means some extensions won't appear in the Extensions tab or work with the ext command. To fix this on a Mac, you need to edit the product.json file located in the VSCodium application folder. For Linux users, the process differs. If you're using Code OSS, edit the product.json file in Seesaw. For VSCodium, edit it in Southlibcodium. you need to change the extensions gallery key in the JSON file from the OpenVSX URLs to the Microsoft Marketplace URLs. Here's a visual comparison of the changes you need to make in the product JSON file. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.